Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Uh, we're all from Florida today. Uh, I think, yeah, we're all Floridians here today. So we are going to catch up on what's going on here in Florida. I also wanted to congratulate our friend, Brickell, American Gun Chick. She had the babies. Or what? Well, she had one baby. Yes, she popped that baby out. Damn. So congratulations to her and Joe. They are um, uh, a mama and a papa. Well, Joe we didn't do much. <laughs> hey, I, you know, the, I, I think he did. I think he did. Uh, you know, some good work. It's tough to get life sparked off, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> you know, obviously the mom does. Yeah, the mom does a lot from there. You know, I mean, ninety-eight to... percent of the work, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. <laughs> know, gestate and carry that baby for nine months, and and uh, an American gun chick. Man, that baby was looking like that belly, man. Wow. <laughs> that belly was out there, so I'm, I'm <laughs> um, yeah, it's a boy. Forty two chill says it's a, a girl or boy. It is a boy. So congratulations to those guys. Um, so yeah, anyway, listen. I know Lewis is not um, doing that well, so I, you know, we should probably just jump into what's happening here in Florida. Since the last time you were on, Lewis, um, you know, bring us up to speed on what's going on. All right, so we got about two weeks left for this legislative session. And uh, last week, we did an impromptu constitutional carry rally at the state capitol. And uh, at the end of the uh, the rally, we gathered petitions again, and we went to distribute them, and we visited Representative Brandon's office. Mm -hmm. Now, as you remember last time, we confronted him, and he basically just turned tail and ran. Well, this time, he wasn't even in his office. It was his legislative aide. Okay. So when we got there, his aide, in a very rude manner, literally did one of these, like, hey, just uh, just put those petitions there on my desk. I got a meeting with someone else, and he walked off and shut the door on us. Mm -hmm. So, you know, since we're polite, law-abiding citizens, we, we did just that. We left them on the desk, and we visited other offices. But we came back about 20, 30 minutes later, and you know where we found the petitions? They weren't in on the, the legislative aid. Yep, they were in the trash. They weren't on the aides' desk. They weren't on the representatives' desk. They were in the trash. We're showing a picture right now uh, for people listening on audio. What was, is uh, this one? This from the Epoch Times, I guess. Yes. Um, and there's a picture of <laughs> GOA just immediately went to the trash. Yeah. Florida State Reps Man. aide caught tossing stack of newly delivered constitutional carry petitions into trash can. Yeah, so, and then there's a thing there, the color literally drained from his face. So you busted him then? Oh, we more than busted him. When we discovered him in the trash, he wasn't there, but he didn't expect us to come back because he rounded the corner and confront, and we confronted him on that. And we literally questioned him, you know, why is this in the trash? What happened? And in a two-minute period, he gave us 30 different answers. He said that he could, he couldn't, he didn't know what was going on. Oh, it was an accident. Uh, did you, re you know, we asked him, did, did Brandon review these? And his response was, well, yeah, he reviews these. So, okay, so he reviewed these and told you to put them in the trash. Well, no, that was a mistake. It was, I meant to put something else in the trash. You know, he couldn't give us a legit answer. Wow. Is that even legal to throw a for them to throw a petition out? Good question. You know, I'm looking into it because I think once they accept the petition, I think it becomes public record. Mm. Yeah, I would think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, I mean, man, it sounds funny, but it's, yeah, what the hell? Yeah, so that's, the, most, yeah. the most appalling thing on this is mm -hmm. if you saw a governor decide to speak during CPAC, you know, to uh, condense his entire speech into a one sentence, he basically said freedom is important and Florida is one of the freest states in the nation. Okay, so you have a Republican lawmaker under his administration chucking petitions of Floridians who are exercising their First Amendment rights to protect, expand, and secure their Second Amendment rights. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound like freedom to me. No, no. no. Yeah, um, wow. So 
what can we do about these guys? Is there anything we could do about them? Like, when does their term come up? Can we, you know, help someone else run against these people? So, as Anybody? for Brandon, as for Brandon himself, so far it doesn't look like anyone's running against him to primary challenge him mm -hmm. in his district. So, you know, I don't know about that, but we could definitely do something. We could put pressure on the governor. Mm -hmm. Where's he out of? Uh, he's up in the north central part of the state, yeah. so like uh, somewhere Spani around County, Baker yeah, he's, County. Yeah, he's somewhere around okay. me. He's somewhere around here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he's no, he's you just run, north hey? of you. He's not in my county, but I know my county sheriff follows him on Facebook. The last time when this stuff happened and I shared it, I saw that uh, my my sheriff follows him and a bunch of other people that are good people, but I don't think they're really aware necessarily of what's going on here. But ultimately, like I see uh, 42 Chills said, make that viral. I mean, we need people to help us share these yeah. things. We could put these things up all we want to, but I mean, it's already tough to overcome the algorithms and things like that on Facebook or other places that they go up. So I hope that folks would look, uh, search for this story and put it up and share it because, uh, yeah, we need that. We need that kind of pressure here in Florida to make people aware of what these guys are doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's do you, it's appalling. That's just wrong. Well, it's it's appalling, especially since this was a Republican lawmaker. Mm -hmm. You know, and, I, and I'm not trying to be divisive and, and partisan in this, but mm -hmm. most people would expect a Democrat to to tr to throw away you know pro gun uh, petitions. It would be sure. like, okay, yeah, whatever. But for a Republican to campaign on being pro-gun, to mm. specifically state that he's pro-gun, and then for this to happen, that is sickening. Yeah, and I think the thing, you know, the thing that's funny here in Florida is that this place is run by Republicans. So if people yeah. are wondering why we have gun laws here in yeah. Florida, you know, some, some really crazy ones on top of that, and why we can't do anything about it and why we can't get constitutional carry is because the Republicans here don't want it. And we've got to do something about that. People have to stop voting for them. I'm, I'm registered yeah. as a Republican, but when I identify these people, I don't vote for them. And, you know, yeah. I go out there, I post things and I tag and I tag people and all that kind of stuff. But it's just the Republic. Yeah, go ahead. The go ahead, Republicans Richard. are the same as Democrats. I mean, I see no difference between the two of them. You know, because they're doing crap like this all the time. Yeah, I mean, I mean they're, they're worse even, right? It's worse, yeah. you know. At least is. the Democrats are honest and they're against it. Yeah, well, these Republicans are always telling us as well, whenever we corner them oh. somewhere, they're always saying, oh, well, if you don't vote for us, then what is the Democrats going to do? Um, uh, I think you're pretty much a Democrat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'd rather have the Democrats and then people get mad about it and at least get fired up then people here in Florida get complacent because they just assume, hey, I've got a Republican in, in my in my county or whatever. But do you know that, you know, if you're a pro-gun person, are you aware of the fact that that Republican is, is taking uh, petitions like this and just throwing it in the garbage? And then you're mm -hmm. wondering why we can't do stuff about this. So, Yeah, it's, yeah. It, it's just wrong. The, the biggest issue with this and, you know, we all agree. We all think that DeSantis has done fairly well as governor, but this is happening under his watch. Um, yeah. Last year, while he was, you know, and, and again, with the Republicans, last year at the height of the pandemic, he was saying that Florida was open for business, that uh, he was uh, ending the, the regulations, you know, the mandatory mask regulations and all that with the pandemic. Yet the Florida Capitol last year was not open to the public. You had a Republican Senate president literally get caught on an open mic claiming that or, or literally saying, oh, it's going to be great. The leeches aren't going to be in here, meaning the public. Mm -hmm. So you had that last year. And of course, you had Republicans then kill constitutional carry, Second Amendment sanctuary bill and, and a bunch of other pro-gun legislation. Mm -hmm. And this year, again, they're doing the same thing. And on top of that, mm -hmm. you have a Republican that is the committee chair that is currently blocking the constitutional carry bill from advancing in the House. And what does his office do? They throw away the petitions of Floridians exercising their First Amendment rights. And even before that, when he was questioned about it, he couldn't even give a straight answer of yes or no. He just pointed at the camera and he said, 
I want to talk to you, and then he just turned around and ran. Yeah. Republicans are trash here in Florida when it comes to the Second Amendment. Yeah. Uh, prove me wrong, including including DeSantis. I mean, do we? what's the proof that we have that DeSantis wants this? I think it was just like when we had uh, Scott as the governor, and he asked for gun control, right? And he got a gun control bill after Parkland because he asked these guys for it. So what proof do we have that DeSantis isn't in the you know running along the same lines as these guys but playing a two-face game with us because you know he he wants to you know run for the presidency mm -hmm. in DeSantis's case he did publicly state back in december that if constitutional carry reached his desk he would sign it yeah okay but now, but it, yeah if you I also know. at the same time <laughs> send someone you know, out and say kill constitutional carry that's like well, you know here, that's two well, here's the thing here's the thing legislatively Mm -hmm. He really doesn't have a lot of control legislatively. Mm -hmm. That's the, the real problem we're facing legislatively is the House Speaker and the Senate President. Mm -hmm. They're anti-gun. Earlier this session, Representative uh, Michelle Salzman up from the Pensacola area, she was recorded uh, having a meeting with the Republican National Hispanic Assembly, and she said what was actually happening. She flat out said, look, I'm pro-gun, I'm 2A, but here's the issue. Um, the legislative leadership is against it they're pro gun control they're not going to advance constitutional carry because it goes against the bill that they supported in 18. and as a professional courtesy she said and these were her words as a professional courtesy i'm not going to go against the leadership meaning that she's going to side with the leadership and not in any way publicly support constitutional carry she's not going to co-sponsor the bill she's not going to advocate for it she's not going to push for it because the leadership's against it. So she sided with the leadership instead of her constituency. And on top of that, she said that her job is to bring money to her district. Make sure to check out hamstrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.